what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about i know what you did last summer in this video here today so brandy has given us an update on her status when it comes to if she will or won't return you could argue we're getting closer but it's not locked yet she had a conversation with entertainment tonight where she revealed that she's heard some things about it and she says so hopefully i don't know how carla would come back i haven't thought about that yet but i know that she should come back because she survived and at one point it seemed like she was indicating that it was actually in her contract to not be killed so that's cool she goes on to say she should definitely come back and then she went on to confirm they have reached out so we'll see what happens i would love that talking about how she would love to reconnect with jennifer love hewitt because she hasn't seen her in so many years that part was kind of cute because it's nice to know that these actors even though they haven't stayed in touch they still have like fond memories of one another that's always cute but i want to talk about carla and this desire to see her back i get it as someone who wanted to see kirby reed in screen five i get it what i did not want though is to just see kirby reed in a cheap cameo capacity going off of what we've been seeing occur and with filming set to start reportedly in october are you going to give me something substantial of Carla or are you just going to tack her on in some cheap way and she does nothing to move the narrative forward? But hey, you know what? We got Brandy in there like you guys wanted. How are, are you happy with me now? No, I wanted substance out of the character. So that's what I'm trying to get at. Even as someone who again wanted Kirby in Screen 5, I when I heard what Radio Silence had in mind and why they didn't just put her in, I was like, that makes sense. Because if you're going to give me Kirby... I, don't just, I didn't just want to see Kirby and then say, oh, yeah, I saw Kirby, so that's a 10 out of 10 movie, and you made great use of her. No. Can you do something with her? And we got that in Scream 6. So are you going to do something with Carla and I Know What You Did Last Summer? Or are we just going to see Carla? And that's, what, that's the question I'm asking everyone who wants her back. Do you just want to see her, or do you want them to do something with her? Is there no care for how the character is used, or do you just want to see Brandy? Because you can see Brandy plenty of times. <laughs> Brandy has some of the most iconic pieces of art out there that you can go watch at any point in time. And I'm just speaking for myself and my household. <laughs> but if I want to see Carla and how Carla is utilized, I don't want to just see Carla pop up on my screen during a two-minute video call and then that I got my fix of what I wanted. It's like, do you really just want that? Or do you want Carla to be used? Do you want to see what has happened between her and Julie in all this time? How has that friendship blossomed? How has it gone backwards? Have they stayed in touch? Or do they have children that are close? So many different things that you could have played with. Are you interested in that? Or is it just coming down to just put Carla in it because she lived? It doesn't matter if you don't do anything with her or not. I can't subscribe to stuff like that because... I just feel as though if you're going to bring characters back, you need to do stuff with them. That's not to say that every character needs to be treated like that. But considering the capacity Carla was involved in with that sequel, I don't want to see her as like the lowest common denominator out of the three returning, you could argue, legacy stars that are coming back so far that we could know about. Because we don't know officially if Jennifer or Freddie are back. So if those three were to be the ones coming back you could argue and it's safe to assume brandy would be the one that takes the crappiest deal out of the three because they've already made it clear that the one who is most significant to this would be julie so the order of importance already seems to indicate you'll have julie who have a more substantial impact on the story uh and then what what is his name ray who would have second most important impact if he's still even messing around with Julie or if they've gotten married or something like that. And then third, last would be Carla, which sounds to me like Carla doesn't mean it'll, it'll be crap, but it sounds like she'd get the least amount of usage in the three. And it's like, I don't want that. I want to see Carla in a capacity that tells me something important about her. She has a crucial contribution to the narrative going forward. I don't want to see Carla just for the sake of Carla appearing and it's a nostalgia pop for myself. I can turn on I Still Know What You Did Last Summer and get that any time. I can turn on any type of brandy media that's out there, thinking of Moesha right now because I love that show, 
And I can see Brandy like that. I can turn on this certain Cinderella movie I used to love watching growing up. I can turn on Brandy's music videos. I'm not interested in seeing Brandy in a capacity as Carla that is lackluster. That's what I'm getting at. I don't need that. I don't find it necessary. And I think that if that's what we're going to end up getting, I'm going to look back on all of this admiration and all of this call to have her back. And I'm going to still beg the question, is that what you really wanted? Or did you want to see Carla utilized in a crucial capacity the same way Julie and Ray are seemingly going to be? Because it just doesn't... I, I, I don't know really what else to say here. It just... Knowing what we know and seeing what we've seen, it's nice that they've reached out. It is nice. I can give you that. But you already know that the story doesn't seem like it's even going to be remotely focused entirely on Ray and Julie themselves. So if Ray... If Julie as a character is still supposed to be important, those other two don't seem like they're going to be of much importance. If you also have to juggle that along with giving me these new crop of characters, since we're taking the Scream 2022 approach and you need to flesh those characters out, too. You can't just give me new characters. They're going to lead the story. But then all of the focus goes to Carla. That's not that's not going to work. It can't all go to Carla if the other characters that are new are supposed to carry this. I just don't I don't I don't really see the interest in it anymore if you're following what they're doing and how this involvement of brandy is going along i'm losing interest in it because i need to now see how are you going to use carla i'm a little bit more inclined to think that carla's appearance if she signs on is going to be cheap now brandy is saying she's heard some things she didn't really go into any specifics about whether those things are good or bad to her but she says she heard some things if carla is utilized in a very one-dimensional capacity I'm going to look back on this and say this is one of the worst returns of a character in a franchise, all for the sake of satisfying a section of people online. And it's like that character deserves so much better if it ends up being that. Now, if it's something that is substantial and and uh, productive to the overall narrative, I'll eat my words. And of course, I will praise it because that's what I want anyway. But right now I have a gut feeling it's just going to be some cheap nostalgia pop. I think that's what Carla will be used for. I have little faith that Carla will now, for now, be used in a crucial capacity. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.